This is the moment you've all been waiting for. ACA League proud to present the main event of the evening. Three five minute rounds in a heavyweight division. Представляю вам судейский корпус. Your officials. Главный судья Head Church Магомед Магомедов. Судьи у клетки at cage side your judges. Артур Шайхов, Иван Юревич, Россия, Russia. Евгений Алинцевич и Виктор Макаренко, Беларусь. И со звуком сирены ваш рефери в октагоне. Remember Sirens has your river in charge. Виктор Карантеев, Russia, Россия. Итак, дамы и господа, на трибунах миллионы фанатов ACA во всем мире. В прямом эфире с арены Falcon Club главный бой вечера Лиги ACA. Ladies and gentlemen and attendants, and the millions of ACA fans around the world, live from Falcon Club Arena, the main part of the evening of ACA. Лиг! Представляю вам соперников. И первый бойца в синем углу. Introducing to you first, finding out of the blue corner. Ему 35 лет. Рост 185 сантиметров. Вес 118,95 кг. Его профессиональный рекорд. 16 побед, 3 поражения. И его стиль – ударная техника. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 35 years old, standing 185 centimeters tall, official weight 118 pounds, 95 kilos. As a striker with professional record, 16 victories and three defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Rostov Anton, Russia, here is Evgeny Gansharov. А вот его соперник в красном углу клетки. And his opponent, actor of the cage, finding out of the red corner. Бойцу 39 лет. Его рост 182 сантиметра, а вес 115,2 килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд 25 побед, 10 поражений. И его стиль так же, как у оппонента, ударная их техника. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 39 years old, standing 182 centimeters tall, official weight 115.2 kilos. As a striker, lion opponent with professional record 25 victories and 10 defeats. Representing Warsaw, Poland, here is Daniel Omelichanchu. Protect himself all time. Listen, my comment. Okay? Show clean fight. Touch gloves. Go corner. Victor Karniev will take charge of this main event. Scheduled for three five minute rounds. And we see there the tail of the tape there. Height and reach on the side of Evgeny Goncharov. Experience though on the side of Daniel Emilianchuk. Emilianchuk in the red corner. Goncharov in the blue, me, Brian Lacey, alongside Brad. One punch, pick it, calling the action. And there's something so special about true heavyweight stepping in there, Brad. Look at the size of these men. Also, he, he went in with this close as well. If you get to hear the sounds of these punches and kicks when they land, it, it's just testament to, to their durability. And Evgeny Goncharov has that looping right hand that he connects so well with Daniel Emelianchuk. You never judge a book by his cover as far as his physique because he's got such dexterity in all the limbs. Fires spinning kicks from any angle. Yeah, covers he, distance well. And that's something you don't really come to expect. That. Not a lot of heavyweights can move like Daniel does, you know. So a lot of people with spine punches, you can't really have people doing what Oh, that right hand connected. The counter right from Goncharov. Yeah, caught. definitely got the attention of, of Daniel. Yeah, caught that left cheek and... And it just dazed him a little. Now it's Gontrov in the center of the cage. Yeah, Gontrov pressing forward. 
But we've seen him be controlled for a few times. Sometimes he, he can come forward, be very aggressive. And then if he gets stung a little bit, you do sometimes see him on his back foot. We saw that with Tony Johnson within their first outing. He, he, he stood there, no, sorry, the first outing, he stood there and he traded. And then in the second outing, he knew that the power of Tony Johnson, so he uh, adopted a different approach and he fought on the outside for the whole fight. Yeah, and then you look at the Vakaya fight as well. It was a fun fight to watch. And uh, again, some interesting moments within that. Vakaya at the end of the first round pushed Goncharov. Herb Dean had warned him beforehand and took away a point. It ended up being like a 10-8 round then for Goncharov. But Vakayev came out and was extremely strong physically. And, and one difference I've seen from Goncharov here, stepping back in the cage, he's put on some size, Brad. And I wonder if that's in response to feeling the sort of strength and wrestling of, of someone like Vakayev. Um, just going back there, that was a good little transition there as well. Daniel nearly got on top, but is the right, right arm of Gontrov managed to get around the back and managed to switch around. So Daniel Emelianchuk has been known for his knockouts here at ACA, but it's actually his submission records that uh, is, is super impressive. Ten of his 16 finishes are by submission, and that's a mixture of, I think he's got new two, two north-south chokes, rear naked chokes, arm, uh, arm triangles, two key lock chokes, the Kimuras, yeah, but you got to think of a lot of those submissions you're reading out to top me there. Top position, yeah. yeah. Top position, and, and that's where heavyweights tend to want to be. Because when you have this sort of side, it's so hard, you know, to get someone off of you with that sort of weight, your weight on bottom as well. I don't really think, you know, maybe a Vadum, maybe. There's not many heavyweights that do a lot of good stuff from their back. Frank Mir, another one. And of course, you've got to take into account this is a three round fight, not five as well, Brad. It was because we had a, a switch in main event, Makashvili was set to face Felipe Froes here in Minsk. But because of the switch, the heavyweights jumped up, got bumped up to the main event, but because it was mid camp, they agreed on a three round rather than a five round. So they don't have to really manage as much yeah. the, the cardio going into this main event. Oh, big shots. Big shots from Goncharov. Well aware of the danger of Emelianchuk's submission game there. Steps out, but straight away re-engages with the clinch, Brad. Yeah, he, he, Daniel done a good job of threatening with, that, with the heel hook. May Goncharov respect that and disengage, but with that disengage, Gontro comes straight back in. There's a little bit of blood on the left eye of Daniel. There's yeah, some swelling as well from that right, that counter right hooky eight off the cage from Gontro earlier in the fight. Oof. Threatened with the high kick, pulled it. 20 seconds left in the first round. You can see Emelianchuk looks tired after having to deal with yeah. Goncharov on top. <laughs> little gentleman's agreement will take those last two seconds off. But interesting first round, Brad. Goncharov managed to counter the forward pressure of Emelianchuk with that right hook. Then able to get that top position, making Emelianchuk work off his back. Strong, strong stuff from the returning inaugural ACA champion. It was actually Daniel that instigated that takedown, but with the transition of, of, of the takedown, managed to get reversed. And it was Gontrov ended up on top. And done some good work. He got some good ground to pound in. And then Daniel, when, he got, when he's got back to his feet, you see he's a little bit tired. He maybe looked like that. that was that check right hook. Yeah, and this, this is where he followed him down. Oh, up kick as well. I didn't notice that. But good scramble from Goncharov. Does a good bit of damage here on top as well. And it's really wore down on Daniel. You saw the end of the round, the heavy breath, still heavy breath here coming into the, the second round. But obviously, don't blink. Round two. 
this weight class. If I could change direction with great, one punch. Yeah, great respect as they meet in the middle. And there was nothing but respect as far as you look at the VTs, they understand the skill sets. Goncharov has very openly said he's come back to ACA to face top, top talent. And Emil Janczuk really is that. He's proved himself time and time again on the world stage. Yeah, I mean, uh, two fights ago he was fighting for the, for the, for the ACA title. And leading up to that, he was on a free fight winning streak. Uh, well, sorry, last three, three fights getting to that title show were all first round finishes yeah. against top opposition. Yeah, four fight win streak, three fight knockout streak. And that was a beautiful takedown from Goncharov. Disguised it with a low leg kick, then dropped, grabbed the ankles, and turned Emilianchuk off the cage. So he's in the center, the, the mat again. Yeah, again, this is where Danu does not want to be. With a big, thick set, Gontrov hammering down punches. His guard's wide open, but Gontrov has no inkling of trying to pass that guard. Happy just to stay here, chipping away. But you've got to kind of feel like how this this uh, uh, division is uh, shaping up. Uh, a win here by Gontrov doesn't really put him straight into target contention unless he does something spectacular against someone like Daniel. He, he, he needs to, to just grinding out a win. I don't think it's going to get him a shot straight away. And especially with a division that is stacked. really stacked with challenges as well. You've got Ali Hanbakayev who looks set to face Dan Tony Johnson next. And you also got Mohamed Vakayev, uh, exactly. Yeah. So you, uh, you've got a row of Vakayevs to get round before you even get to, uh, to challenge Tony Johnson. Oof. But this is solid, good work from Gontrov. Clever stuff as well. The takedown was sublime, absolutely beautiful. And again, you're not just causing physical damage, but you're wearing now on Emelianchuk. So if we do step into that third round, say we see past these next two minutes, 40 seconds. Yeah, you saw it, let me like, he, he landed one kick in, in this round and he was not the same sort of intensity as, as you come to expect from Daniel. It's definitely like this sort of, this is not the fight that he wants to be. Oh, this is the most, I would say, manhandled we've seen Daniel Emelianchuk. And he needs to make some space make something happen to stop these short shots and this clock ticking away with him in bottom position. Good body work there from Goncharov. It's just solid stuff, stuff you drill day in, day out, preparing for a fight, and he's executing it in the cage very well tonight. Yeah, I mean, he's opposing his, uh, his uh, game plan. Very well here, taking a very dangerous strike here, Daniel Minchuk, oh, oh, keeping him on his back. Not leaving any space. We saw Daniel try and make a little bit there to get his arm under that left leg. Gontrov shut it down straight away. Also keeping busy enough. He's not just like staying there. He's keeping busy. We're getting some good elbows in, punching the body, punching oh. the head. One minute, 20 seconds now in round two. Yeah, Daniel Khan just running out of answers here at the moment. Now he's trying to get onto his side, but as soon as he does, Gontrov just re-establishes position. Yeah, a lot of weight for coming forward here, chest to chest. Deep, deep breaths from Emilian Chuck on bottom, understandably so. This has been a grueling round. Yeah, he's having trouble getting to his side on his hip. He's been kept flat. Oh, nice work. It's not just about technique as well. You've got to think about now when fatigue sets in as well. You do not have the sort of explosive sort of energy to, to get back up. And Goncharov, no real fight ending shots coming through, but in that, well, they're big enough there to finish the round. Now he postures up. That's good work. Emilianchuk turns over. Oh. 
Whoa, shots to the back of the head potentially there. Emilianchuk stands up, but that, that flurry at the end with the biggest shots Goncharov threw, but throughout that top position, he was working with enough for as in enough output to keep that position, which is exactly what you need to do, right? Yeah, and also Daniel didn't really try that much to get out of that position until the end of the round and put him in a bad position. If he did that earlier, you never know, the fight could have been stopped because he wasn't looking like he was getting out of that position anytime soon. He may have just been waiting for the, the, the buzzer to go because he knew his, uh, he heard the 10 second clacker. But um, still, I mean, like, there's not a good position to end that round in. And just a strong, strong round. And again, all from that takedown. Disguised it with the kick, went low. A lot of grease on the face there of Emilianchuk. Not Emilianchuk, Goncharov, my apologies. Now we have the experience of Daniel Emilianchuk. This is his 36th pro MMA fight. He's got to dig deep, he's got to lean on all of that. He's got to know, he's got to get the finish right. And off we go, third and oh, straight away to take down. Look at that. Such excellent execution. The drive, the commitment for that takedown. That's what I mean. You, you see it sometimes within a fight. You see a road to victory. Uh, and you take it. Daniel this time now. Doing, he knows he needs to do something now. To get back to feet. Oh, he might be looking for the guillotine. Oh, it slipped out. That's a mistake from Goncharov. Can we can. see Daniel on top for the first time? Yeah, can he capitalize on it? Still, Goncharov, relentless. Look at the way he turned the corner, Brad. So impressive. Yeah. And at this pace as well. Talking about you got the amount of oxygen need to power these huge human beings, yet alone be at the output, the control, and now slides into mount. Emilianchuk tries to use that as an opportunity to turn. Yeah, it's going to be careful. These are big shots as well. Oh, a solid shot now. Emilianchuk covering up. He's got to be careful. Goncharov making this a miserable night for the yeah. former title challenger. And if you're looking at a statement to coming back into ACA, having this sort of performance against this level of competition is one way to say I'm back, right? Yes, indeed, you're doing a great job here. Keep him busy. Oh, this can be it, that's enough. The referee's great stoppage there from Viktor Karaniev. Andre Goncharov back. At ACA back in the win column and back on everybody's radar in this heavyweight division. It was such a frustrating position for the Daniel to be in, as in he wasn't like rocks with these heavy, heavy punches getting wrong, but he just couldn't get out of that position and just, in my eyes, just kind of accepted the fate. <laughs> he just said to us, I am back. In the old Arnold Schwarzenegger sort of voice, I'm back. Yes, he is with a performance like that as well. And again, against that level of competition, that's as impressive as we've seen him. And it, it might not be one of those performances where you're taking lots of highlight real moments from it, but the takedowns, Brad, in rounds two. Then as soon as he got to round three, executed that takedown, then took the back, almost lost the position, but was unwilling to surrender it to uh, Emilianchuk. And he still looks fresh, yeah. still looks fresh. Very impressive indeed. So, Brian, let's get this made this official. Ladies and gentlemen, Viktor Karneyev has stopped the fight in a minute and 39 seconds in the round. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee in charge, Viktor Karneyev, stops this contest at 1 minute and 39 seconds of round number three. Техническим нокаутом, добивание, победу одержал, and your winner by technical knockout punches, Evgeny Goncharov! Rostov-Tarano, Russia!